For my capstone project on the Bronze Age, I forged a bronze hoe, as well as a bronze knife. These are based off period correct tools. This is the bronze aluminum alloy I used to forge these tools. After cutting a suitable sized piece, I started to hammer the piece flat. One of the difficulties of working with bronze aluminum is bronze and aluminum have different temperatures they like. So if it gets too hot, bits can literally melt off. So you have to keep a close eye on the bronze when it's in the forge. Flattening allowed me to use safer tongs and shape it into the right length. At this point, we had the bronze flat and started tapering both sides. The point of heating the metal in the forge is so it's soft and can move. You want the metal to be plastic, as my instructor called it. I'm flipping to the sides of the bronze piece so the metal keeps its shape. The shape I'm going for now would be the taper. I dropped the bronze piece quite a bit. You have to have a firm grip, because each time the hammer strikes, it vibrates and bounces the tongs. After we finished the taper, we realized that we had too much mass, so we chiseled off a piece. I held the bronze as my instructor chiseled it. I have to keep the bronze flat on the anvil, so the metal doesn't bounce. Because we chopped off the taper, we have to remake the taper. Now we are starting on the axe head slash hoe head by hitting the end of the taper.
<laughs> For extra efficiency, we did some patty cake pounding. I should copyright that. The patty cake pounder exclusive. Now I'm working on my knife. The work is about the same. I flatten and we start making more tapers. Fun fact, instead of chopping off more bronze, we just use the extra bronze we chopped off the hoe. See that kind of golden tip? What just happened was the tip of my blade overheated, and as I hit it, it fell off. Adding the bevel to my knife was the hardest part. I added a bevel to my hoe, but the hoe only needed the top. Oh, 
it's running now. Now I have it turned on. A bevel is the edge of a knife, also found on axes and other sharp tools. Working at the grinder isn't very hard, but it's scary. I have to dip the blade in water where it overheats.
At home, I polished the hoe a bit more. Me banging my finished hoe with a hammer isn't senseless rage. It's called work hardening the mill. I gotta say, this has gotta be the, of course, anything to record, we should record, but this has gotta be the lamest thing to show in the presentation. Oh yeah, I tapped on it with a hammer. I'm recording this. <laughs> yeah, I did. We found a stick at the park and chiseled it into a handle. to do a test fit. Wrong side. I know that was the right side. Let's see. So what happens is it hits this. That's better. Can I get your hand out of the way? Thank you. That's better. Oh no, we'll tie it at the end. Don't tie it. We don't have to tie I it at the beginning. told you I don't hold it. We added leather and later pitch to the handle to secure the hoe head. You need to make it really tight though. Like that. Oh, like that. You, you need to go down the, down the coe handle. Oh. Really, really tight. Yep, I think. And then not at the end. You want to tie it on the bottom underneath? There's a big space to. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, let's do that. So you have to knot it. You're going to have oh. to tie it. On, how about tie it on the bottom? Oh, tie it. Oh, I see what you mean. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. And tie it, tie it under here. Oh, I see. And that's been my time in the forge. Masterpiece. Masterpiece.